Boys and girls, ladies and gents, and members of the Big Red Food Army, it's your boy Big Red back for another Ghetto Gourmet. And what are we cooking today for breakfast? Well, I got some broken chips from when I had salsa. And you know we don't waste nothing, so we're going to make chili, corn chips, and cheese. Let's get started. And we're going to do the chili with beans. So we got our Hormel chili with beans. Bam. We got ourselves a little bowl. Check. We got ourselves a spoon. I'm going to open this little sucker up. Get all of that off of there. And bam. All right. Come on up. Why does canned chili always look like dog food when it comes out? Sometimes it comes out whole. Usually the one without cheese. I mean, the one without uh, beans. What, little girl? You heard me say the word cheese and you think you need some right now, huh? This cat loves her some shredded cheddar. Y'all know we don't waste nothing, so we're going to scrape all of this goodness out. Watch how much more comes out. You'll be surprised. And what you may hear playing in the background is Shaving Ryan's Privates. Because that's what I'm watching. Uh, I started watching it last night and I fell asleep. You ever notice when you open a can... The inside of the can always has those little rivets or those little ridges. Why is that? Can anybody tell me? I mean, why do cans have those little bitty... I mean, you can hear them, me scraping against them that... You hear it? That those ridges. It sure makes getting stuff out of it, especially stuff with a with a sauce, it makes stuff harder to get out of the can. If anybody can answer that, who will please do? I've always wondered that, you know? Okay, so, got about as much of that as we could out of there. Now y'all gonna say, well, Big Red, you're not just gonna make that out the can like that. No, y'all know better than that. Hey, look, we got a new pepper cracker. Because y'all have probably seen that other video where the other one slipped out of my hand and broke. So we're going to put some black pepper. We are going to put a little bit of... We got this at the local... Uh, the place where they make hot sauce. I mean, not hot sauce. They sell hot sauce and they make beef jerky. But he also makes his own uh, seasonings. And he makes this hickory garlic. Simply Texas. And it's actually got a good flavor to it, actually. I'll put a little bit of that. We are going to put... A little bit of onion powder. Like you could smell, like, I mean, garlic powder normally smells like garlic, but man, you could smell 
that hickory in there. Holy smokes. Got a little chili powder. I'm glad I got some of this out because I'm going to have to get some more when I go to the store. Put that on my grocery list. A little bit of chili powder. And a little bit of cayenne. Because y'all know how we do it. We, we like it a little on the spicy side. Well, I accidentally pushed my stove. I'll discombobulate it. Alright. So. I'm going to mix this up. Oh, one more thing. Forgot. Trappy's Red Devil cayenne pepper sauce just to give it a little more liquidy. A few squirts of that, you know what I'm saying? Jazz it up. So, I'll mix all of that up. I hear you, little girl. I already fed you this morning. Now it's time to feed Big Papa. We got our little paper towel. I'm gonna nuke this. Put this in the nuka for a minute. While that's going on, we're gonna get us some cheese. Oh, you heard the bag of cheese, huh? Okay, okay, calm down. Here we go. Here, here's, here's two little pieces. Ain't got much left in there. We got our craft mild cheddar. And we got our tostitos, which, if y'all saw the salsa video, which this will probably come out before the salsa video, you know, all I got left is little crumbs. <laughs> And we're going to put that bag of mamma jamma up into the chili so we don't waste. Sorry about that. I had to get a little sip of water. Alright, so we did that. Now Go ahead and put this cheese in there. There is no more cheese, girl. That's it. Oh, sorry. Then we're going to put it back in for about 30 seconds just to get that cheese melted up. Toss this. Close the old, I'm gonna stick this off to the side for now, in case we need to reheat it. And we're going to take our crumbs, well first let's mix that cheese in there. And we're going to take our crumbs. Dump our crumbs in there. Throw so away the bag. Give it a good little stir. It's almost like Frito pie. You know what I'm saying? But this is corn chips. Instead of Fritos. Alright, so we got them good and mixed. Let me show y'all what we got here. I'll show you what we're working with. And there you go. So I'm going to cut this light out. And we're going to walk over to the old coffee table, little living room area. Turn on the light. 
watch us some Shaven Private Ryan's or Shaven Ryan's Privates and eat us some adjust my pants sit my big behind down and let's go ahead and dig into this like I said we don't waste nothing got them little chips I said, it's like Frito pie, but it's not. Mm -hmm. This is good. Let me pause this so y'all don't have to hear all this nonsense. Not to watch the good battle scenes. Mm -hmm. So, what do y'all do with y'all leftover chips? That are too small to use to dip with. I know some people might throw them away. But not here at the Ghetto Gourmet. I just wish chip companies would figure out a way to make it where you don't have no breakage. Mm hmm. It's a good little breakfast. Late breakfast, early lunch, whatever you want to call it. It's almost 11 o'clock. Ever since I've been playing with my son, Call of Duty World War II, I've been on a World War II movie kick. A few nights ago, I watched Red Tails. Watched Valkyrie. Watched a movie called Beyond Valkyrie. Which was basically the same story from the Ally side. Or the heck? Instead of the German side. Um, what else I watched? Red Tails, Valkyrie, Beyond Valkyrie. Now I'm watching Shaven Ryan's Privates. I think that's all I've watched recently. Like I said, this is pretty good. Good way not to uh, waste your chips. Grandma used to say, "Waste not, want not." Speaking of World War II movies, I need to open up. Uh, I bought it for my son for Christmas. We went to the theater and seen it. And he enjoyed it. So I bought him the DVD for Christmas, and he ain't even opened it yet. I'm going to be like, Sucker, give me that. I'm going to open it. Uh, Dunkirk. It's 
go ahead and get all this scrapage off of here. Go ahead, I'll give you all the last bite. Come on, go ahead, get your bite. This ain't even bites. This is just like there ain't nothing left, but mm, tastes so good. I'm gonna try to get every last little. Might eat the damn bowl. Who knows? This was so good. Mhm. Mm so there you have it. What to do with your broken chips? So over here, you got a subscription button please consider subscribing hit that notification bell you'll be notified when i have new content over here thumbs up thumbs down bam you know the drill hit me with one it doesn't matter which it just lets me know you're watching uh, Ooh, ooh, chili beans down below you have a section with a description of this video with links to follow me on facebook instagram and twitter Links to this channel's homepage where you can find all the older content separated by series or category there's also a link to my friend's t-shirt website where you can purchase Big Red Show shirts, kind of like the fast food Fat Man shirt there. Uh, there's That link is www.teeimp.com, www.teeimp.com. Check that out. Go to the main page, hit the store button, then go to Big Red Link, and then you can uh, find some Big Red Show t-shirts or the darker side of red shirts where... It's stuff that I find funny that goes on t-shirts. Um, anyway, I'll make a little bread. You'll get a cool shirt. Friend will make a little bread. And we all good. You know, now we at the part where I'd like to thank each and every one of you guys. From my day one sub that's been around since day one when I started this. To the guy who just signed up after watching this video. Thanks to each and every one of you guys. Thank you, thank you, thank you. From the bottom of this big fat belly to the top of this almost bald dome, I just want to say thank you, thank you, thank you. But please, 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 do me one small favor. Share this video with your family and friends. Tell your ma, tell your pa, tell your greasy, greasy grandma. Show them how you get down with Big Red. Maybe they'd like to get down with Big Red too. And learn how to cook ghetto fabulous. Again, this is Big Red for another Ghetto Gourmet. Until next time, may all of your cooking experiences be ghetto fabulous. I'll see you next time in the kitchen. I'm out. I gotta go shave Ryan's privates. Outie. <laughs>